welcome back to see yourself oh i got this crazy ass video i'm about to show y'all now today's video you know what i'm saying i'm gonna put a little cop comedian shit in there on top of why it's very important to try to recognize the signs of mental health i mean mental health awareness should be something every day not just certain time whatever whatever but I've been seeing a lot of shit about mental health going on with people killing themselves, hurting themselves, harming people, wanting to be killed. All this crazy stuff going on in the world. COVID starting to grow. We already fucking been dealing with COVID for over two years. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot that's going on. There's war going on, fucking it up for the economy. It's just so fucking much is what I'm trying to say. So this video, you know, I just want to show people who think of harming themselves or doing something to themselves, like, what are you doing to your loved ones, you know what I'm saying, when you do something like that and don't speak up on what you're dealing with or going, with, going on in life, you know what I'm saying, mental health is very serious, very fucking serious, and, you know what I'm saying, I just wish people would express how they feel, let people know what's going on. Or hell, talking to random people who don't even fucking know you. That might seem like a good person or whatever. Like I said, whatever the occasion or situation may be, mental health is so alive and it is so real. And it's something that, you know what I'm saying, we need to really, really, really keep an eye out for because this world is going crazy. People are going crazy. Things are getting tough. I'm in a situation where I know how regular average person feels somebody who's working a job you know a nine to five monday through friday you can't even go to the store and get the regular groceries because you want a budget and plan to try to accelerate and get ahead and things like this that's going on in the economy and then you got this war going on where they pretty much got their main focus on this war how shit gonna play out how much money they giving other countries versus what's going on in our own country so I ain't gonna talk and rumble too much, but that's what today's video is mostly about, is the effects of mental health and when people take their lives and leave us here dealing with it. But before I get into all that, subscribe to my channel because it's free, help me out, and it's also doing a good deed because it doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? It don't cost you nothing to hit that subscribe button. So I appreciate the ones that do. Wish nothing but the best for everybody. Like my video if you felt like this content was something that you rock with, it was vibing, you know, you can comment, tell me certain things you felt about the video. It's feedback and I appreciate that. And since you like it and you rock it with me, whatever the occasion may be, let people know, hey, the content I create, it's a reaction channel, also it's an awareness channel. Let people know what's going on and to be aware if you don't watch the news and shit like that, maybe. Be putting the news into this uh make somebody just take a look at it also if you feel like my shit is popping like that go ahead hit the motherfucking like button subscribe button share my shit hit the notification bell if you feel like you want to keep up with me when i know and notify yourself when i post shit because i do try to post every motherfucking day and all this and that shit blah 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 but anyway let's get it in the fucking bathroom! What the fuck? Don't baby, baby. Come on, come on. What's this life? Baby, this is not the fucking life, bro! Come on, baby. What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Bro! Bro! And don't try to get in the fucking bathroom, he's trying to! Oh my god, oh my god. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, I see the fucking status on Facebook and I go to the bathroom and he's showing his fucking stuff as I'm trying to get in, bro. Oh, okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Damn. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, 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 I just lost my fucking brother. What the fuck? He just killed his fucking stuff in the bathroom, bro. He just shot his fucking stuff in the bathroom. Yeah, here in a second. Just chill out. We're going to learn how to be a spider. I'm very just. I'm sleeping. 
go and get a wipe. We're gonna wipe this shit off. I'm gonna have to just go to jail, bro. I can't you know, do you this. Go to no I got a warrant. My brother just lost his life in front of me. Him or the bro. Oh, okay. Like, my people's needs are no, bro. My brother just lost his life. Get on the phone and start calling them. Have you called your mom? Call calling people, baby. Start calling people. Now, this video, I gotta say, is real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I lost somebody to suicide. You know, I knew this person was stressed out, but I didn't think they were stressed out to the point where they was gonna kill themselves. And I tried to bring so much light and positivity to them, but they didn't talk to me about what was going on. So I didn't know exactly, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know exactly the whole ordeal of their situation and what they was going through. I'll tell it was too late, you know. So when I say mental health is very serious, mental health is very fucking serious, y'all. Y'all need to speak up if you're going through something. And there's other people that you can talk to besides the one you don't want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they will help you navigate positivity into your life so it's negative. But negative shit that is trying to overcome and have you do these negative things to yourself having a positive influence with someone positive can make it where you know it won't be as bad but y'all already know how we do it on this channel let's get it this story out of connecticut is tragic this is 17 year old jimmy mcgrath he was a junior and a lacrosse player at Fairfield Prep, but that all came to an end Saturday night. It all happened here in this residential neighborhood when a group of teens got together for what Jimmy's father said was a friendly get together. It's not how it ended. Police say one boy, a 16 year old from a different high school, stabbed four boys. All four were taken to the hospital where Jimmy later died. The suspected killer is being held on a $2 million bond and is likely to be tried as an adult. Jimmy's high school held a memorial service for him earlier this week, but it's not clear exactly what set off the fight. Police are still investigating. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>